Hey everyone, it's John at Evolve. Today we wanted to show you the insides of an, a Fisker Ocean and uh, we have one in here for repair and I thought it would be a great example to show how sort of some EV manufacturers are trying to solve the weight problem. Um, we've talked a lot about mixed metal construction and some of the challenges it creates with things like panel gap and so on. So um, we'll take a quick peek inside a, an ocean here and see how they've solved it. So we'll walk around the car uh, on the other side in a second to like, take a look at panel gaps. You can see they're not perfect. Um, but what's interesting here with Fisker, as we come to the back, their solution is to use plastic. So here's the quarter panel assembly, and we're just going to remove it from the vehicle. So if you look, that's a, it's a complete one piece of plastic that with an inner structure that's uh, either plastic welded or uh, glued in some cases. Um, but that represents the entire quarter panel. So if we look under the quarter panel, uh, we can see the inner structure, and we're looking at aluminum. So uh, similar in that creating an aluminum inner structure to reduce weight and some of their solution was to use plastic uh, bolt-on panels. So there's advantage um, beyond the weight reduction and that would be the ease of manufacture. So obviously we don't have to weld or rivet or structurally bond a plastic panel to that vehicle. It's a bolt-on. Now nothing new, so if you recall that Saturn's uh, had these bolt-on plastic panels for a long time, even prior to that. Chrysler in the 80s was looking with the Chrysler minivan to put uh, all plastic panels on that vehicle. But we do have an aluminum inner structure on this Fisker here, and uh, they're using some plastic panels, quite a few plastic panels on the vehicle. So we're looking at the rear door here. Now this is not a plastic panel. This is actually a steel panel. So uh, this has some damage obviously we're going to need to fix and it's detrimmed right now to be able to go into production. But interestingly if we look at this quarter panel assembly that also has some damage that we're going to have to repair. What I can tell you is this is probably two to three times the weight of an aluminum quarter panel. So weight reduction probably not the intent uh, with Fisker on the plastic panel although it's a good idea. Um, but it's hard to compete with aluminum for tensile strength and weight reduction. So uh, primarily my guess is going to be that Fisker's using plastic panels um, to really reduce the cost of manufacturing. So we'll go around and take a look at the other side of the vehicle and look at some of the panel gaps with some of these mixed metal construction vehicles. And uh, not bad, back here on the tailgate we can see it's um, on this quarter panel again plastic to steel. We've got a bit of a V gap, so wider here and tight here, not perfect, but not horrible. This gap's acceptable, probably two millimeters consistently across. This gap's a little V as well, a little, little high here, a little low there, but maybe a half a millimeter off. You can see the fit on this plastic panel here. It's tight at the bottom, a little wide here. Uh, you may be able to unbolt these things uh, and adjust that a little bit, but again, if you listen, we've got a plastic fender here. Um, and and probably an aluminum hood up front here. So th there's a quick look at a Fisker Ocean and sort of their idea of weight reduction uh, or cost reduction in manufacturing EVs. So uh, we know that Fisker just filed bankruptcy and they're probably gone. These are going to be a challenge to fix, um, but we can certainly fix them. Uh, technical support is going to be limited and parts are probably going to be limited as well. So uh, if you do have one of these and you need help, uh, we can certainly help you um, and uh, glad to do it. So as always, any questions about Fisker or any other EV or autonomous vehicle concerns, uh, you can reach out to us at contact us at evolve-auto.com or leave comments below and we'll get right on those. Thanks for watching.